How long should it take to clean a four bedroom, three bathroom house? We're gonna talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by housecleaning360.com, which is a 360 view of the perfect home. So if you're looking for a house cleaner or you're looking for a professional organizer or you're looking for a pet sitter to sit your pets while you're away, on vacation this summer, or you're looking for somebody to pressure wash your driveway or clean out your gutters. There's a whole host of people that can help you have the perfect home at housecleaning360.com. Now, if you're a business owner and you have not listed your business there, it's a place for a business fan page where all of your friends and relatives and customers and people that know you and like you and can vouch for your character or can vouch for your work can leave you ratings and reviews. All right, housecleaning360.com. Now on to today's question, which is from a house cleaner who has this question. Hi, Angela. My name is Tammy Teague. I'm from Indiana. Um, I have a question. Just wanted to know how long should it take to clean like a three or four bedroom with three baths? I'm sorry, uh, two full baths and one half bath. How long should that take to clean, to deep clean? Thank you. (laughs) All righty. If I had $1 for every time I was asked this question, I would be rich. So why don't you guys just go ahead and send me the money right now? Here's the answer. I cannot give you an honest answer that is direct and concise on how long it takes to clean a four bedroom, three bathroom house and a deep clean, okay? So a maintenance clean versus a deep clean, there are two different types of cleaning. So it's like saying, how long does it take to cook a meal? Okay, what is in the meal? And then what are the ingredients? Are you pulling out a can of tomato soup that you're going to be mixing in there? Or are you mashing the tomatoes from scratch? That's the difference between having a maintenance clean and a deep clean. So there are so many variables that go into how long does it take to clean a house? Now, if you just said it's maintenance friendly, meaning it's already had the deep clean and it's just regular to be maintained, it's gonna be about three hours to do that size of a house. That's gonna be about average, just off the top of my head. But then you threw in the words deep clean, and then deep clean makes me ask, what condition is the home in? We do deep cleans on the first time that we go to a customer's house. And we do that because as the house cleaner, we don't know your house. This is the first time we've ever been to your house and we don't know our way around. We don't know what the systems are in your house and we don't know where the glitches are. So there may be pockets in your house that collect more dust or more traffic, or they're harder to clean, or there's always spaghetti on the wall in that spot when we get there. We don't know what those areas are. So the deep clean allows us to introduce ourselves to your home and to clean out all the nooks and crannies and all the stuff that does not get done on a normal maintenance clean. And so a deep clean is gonna take significantly longer than a maintenance clean. Once you've done the deep clean and you've got the house in maintenance order, you can come in in a much quicker way and you can do a three hour job on a house that size. When I say three hours, but that's like saying, now I'm gonna make the next meal. Again, what does that mean? How many people is the meal for? Where do we get the ingredients from? Do I need to go to the store and buy those ingredients? Are they already sitting in front of me waiting for me to cook the meal? Not are they sitting in front of me, but have they already been cut up and are they prepped? The reason I ask the question is if I get to your house and your house is prepped, meaning you've picked up all of your toys and your shoes and your clothes and things are ready for me just to come in and cook the meal or clean the house, it's going to be much easier and it's going to take a lot less time than if I have to come in and I have to do all the prep work myself. So how long does it take? There are so many variables. One of the variables is how many people live in the house. Because if you're cleaning a house for five people, it's very different, exact same house. It's very different than if you have one person who's a business professional who's never at home. Now, throw into the mix, do they have pets? If the person has no pets, that's gonna be a very different clean than if they have three dogs and two cats and a bird and a goldfish. It's gonna be a very different clean. All right, what are the other things that are variables that you need to know about this person's house? What time of the day are you cleaning? Because if you're trying to tiptoe around a sleeping baby, you're going to be much more quiet and you're going to be working softer and slower than if you were racing through the house and no one was at home and you're free to turn on the vacuum and all these things. So there are a lot of unknown variables 
that if I just give you a time, like it takes three hours, that is a ridiculous thing to say. That is just ridiculous because we don't know all the other elements that come along with that question. How long does it take for a deep clean? That also is an unknown. I need to come to your house and I need to actually see because I don't know. I don't know the way that you live. Everybody lives a little bit differently. And in our minds, we're all pretty tidy, right? <laughs> Wrong. So when I get to your house, if I look at your house and what in my head was going to be three hours, but really it's going to take me 10, I need to allocate for that amount of time so that I can get your house up to my standard of excellence so that when I come back and I clean, I can offer you a fair price at every cleaning. And then also that I can do it in a reasonable amount of time so that I can fit you into my schedule so that I can clean the other houses that are also on my schedule. So I love the question. I get asked dozens of times a day, how much should I charge and how long does it take? Those are two questions that will never have an answer. They will never have an answer. And here's why. You can have two identical houses with the exact same floor plan, the exact same space, and you can put them on a street next to each other with different elevations, which is the front of the house looks different, but the inside, the guts of the house are identical. The stuff that people have inside those houses are different. The furniture is different. The way that they've decorated the house is different. One person might be totally immaculate and the other person might have gobs of knickknacks. And then you add the families in there and the living styles and the way that these people operate in their homes. And they are two completely different things. So to say, well, you charge my neighbor X amount of dollars and it takes you X amount of time. That's true but to offer you the same price at the same time would be ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I love the question. I wish I had an answer and I wish I had a dollar for every time I was asked that question, because like I said, I'd be rich. Alrighty. That's my two cents for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Mm -hmm.